So with another week of the clay court season behind us, some big tournaments this week and some big results for some key players. We had a lot of top 10 players playing this week, not only in Stuttgart, but also around Europe on the men's side as well. Let's go have a look at who won the titles last week. Four tournaments in total. We're starting with the WTA and only one event last week, the Stuttgart Open and Igor Sviantec defending her title against Sabalenka, 6-3, 6-4 to win another Porsche. Over on the ATP, we had three tournaments starting in Munich with Runa defending his title against Van der Zanschulp, 6-4, 1-6, and looked very injured in that third set, so very good win to get that one. Over in Bosnia, Dusan Lajevic takes out Rublev in the final, 6-3, 4-6, after also beating Djokovic during the week and he got a boost in the rankings and in the Barcelona Open Carlos Alcaraz defending his title against Stefano Tsitsipas 6-3 6-4 to lift his second Barcelona trophy in a row and of course he's got Madrid coming up next week that he has to defend as well all right taking a look at the players outside the top 10 that went up in the rankings this week and Lajevic, he goes up 30 spots after winning in Bosnia. He's number 40 in the world. And he's had a really good season so far. And caps it off with a title there. And watch out for him in Madrid. Also, Molchan, he's gone up to 58 in the world. 15 spots higher than last week after making the semifinals of the same tournament in Bosnia. And Kovanic goes up to number 57 on the WTA. 15 spots higher than last week after winning a small event on the WTA outside of that massive Stuttgart event. So even the players that didn't get to play Stuttgart on the WTA, those who did well still got a little boost. Players that went down this week in the rankings, Avashka. He drops down eight spots to number 69 in the world after failing to defend the points from last year. Diego Schwartzman's gone down 24 spots to number 72 in the world. He has really dropped down the rankings of late. Again, dropping a lot of points from this time last year. And Paula Bedosa goes down 11 spots to number 42 in the world. Even though she had a really good week making the quarterfinals in Stuttgart, wasn't enough to keep her top 40 spots. So she's dropped down the ranks as well. A little unlucky because Stuttgart was so stacked, but that loss cost her a lot of ranking spots. All right, let's start with the WTA rankings this week. And no change. Only changes to the points. With Fiontech staying at number one. Sabalenka at number two. Pagula staying at three. Jabur keeps her spot at number four. With Garcia just behind at number five. Goff is at number six. Just ahead of Rabakina at number seven. Kazakina at eight. Zachary at nine. And just behind her is Kvitova at number 10. And with Madrid next week, a lot of points up for grabs. So we could see some big changes on the WTA there. But you can see there's a lot of players that are close to other players in the rankings. But sure, with Madrid coming up, we're going to see some huge changes. Over to the race of the finals now. And we did see a change, but not at the top. Sabalenka staying at one with Rabakina at two. They've all but qualified for the finals with their ranking points. But Igor Sviantec, she goes up to number three, pushing Pagula down to number four after winning in Stuttgart, and Pagula didn't play last week in Stuttgart, so Sviantec takes the third spot. Vencic is at number five, with Kvitova at six, Rajika at seven, Goff at number eight, Azarenka at nine, and Lynette stays at number ten, just inside that top ten. But again, like I said, with Madrid coming up, a lot of points up for grabs, expect changes. Over to the ATP now, and no change at the top, at least not this week, with Djokovic staying at number one, ahead of Alcaraz at number two, we do see a change in the middle of that top five with Medvedev going up to number three, pushing Rude down to number four. Even though Medvedev didn't play this week, Rude dropped points and that was enough. So he's about to stay at number five despite making the final of Barcelona. But those three guys... Medvedev, Rude, Tsitsipas have a lot to play for in Madrid when it comes to rankings. Rublev stays at number six with Runa at number seven. Sinner at eight. Oji Aliasim at nine. And Taylor Fritz rounds out the top ten for this week. And again, just like the ladies, Madrid coming up. A lot of points up for grabs. Expect changes next week. Over to the race of the finals now. And Medvedev stays at number one with Djokovic at number two. We do have a change with Alcaraz leapfrogging Sinner to go to number three, pushing Sinner down to number four after winning in Barcelona. Of course, Sinner pulling out of Barcelona. He's also pulled out of Madrid. Sinner, so he might not be safe in that top four for long. And we have another change as well with Rublev having to go down to number six, making way for City Pass to number five. Very close on the points there. They both made finals, but the difference being City Pass's final was worth a lot more points. Fritz is at number seven, and Holger Runa, he is into the top eight for the first time, going up three spots after winning in Munich, pushing down Hashinov to number nine. Norrie stays at 10, and Tommy Paul falls out of the top 10 completely, so really starting to take shape now. And if you look at the top eight players, that was the ATP Finals. If they were next week, that would be a very good crop of players to watch at the ATP Finals. Almost a replica of what we saw last year. It's starting to take shape now. We're starting to see some familiar names in that race of the finals. So there it is. Another big week on the clay courts. And of course, Madrid coming up next. We won't be having a ranking show next week because it'll be midway through the Madrid tournament. So post-Madrid, we will be doing a ranking show before the Rome tournament happening straight after. Let me know down in the comments below. What's been the biggest surprise in the rankings this week for you? Are you surprised? We haven't seen more changes 
after the last week or are you maybe waiting for Madrid because there are some big ramifications in the rankings potentially for Madrid. Fiontech says she's going to play Madrid at this point. Alcaraz is the defending champion. Djokovic won't be there. Chance for him to maybe keep the gap close going into Rome in a couple of weeks. But they're the rankings for another week on the clay courts. Djokovic still at number one. So is Fiontech.